Welcome back to Paranorma Sight! God, spookiest thing that's happened right now. Nah, I'm kidding, I love this game. Well, the only uh, chapter we have is Haru Shigima is with Dead or Alive. We're meeting up with the detectives again. Haru and Richter visit Michio's home, having determined her to be a key player in the unresolved kidnapping case from here before. As the complicated story begins to unravel, they encounter two men. <gasps> two men. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. And that's it. That's all they get to know. Near the Shiraishi household. Oh, I, I've seen this scenario in a Dead or Alive game. They're about to throw down in the middle of the street. Is this what they do with Jojo with the stands and all that? What? Richter versus uh, Satsumi and uh, Harue and Ariel are their stands. <laughs> Ma'am, allow me to introduce one of our country's most elite detectives. The name's Junirio. Not you! I'd hardly call myself a lead, but either way, it's nice to meet you. This here is the actual person you want to talk to, Chief Inspector Tsutsumi. And yes, he's just as rough and tumble as he looks. Sometimes I really don't know if you're complimenting or putting me down. Yes! So, you two are detectives? This is my client, Mrs. Harare Shigima. <laughs> Their father's a big deal in the police himself, so remember to mind your manners. That side eye. A bigwig named Shigima! Boss! You know of this guy? Uh, it's shit. I've heard the name, but you know I don't keep track of who's who in the upper echelons. There's no need to worry. I am my own person after all, and my father has nothing to do with any of this. Don't cross me. Oh, did you hear that, boss? Looks like you're getting off easy again this time. You're the one who gets off easy. Don't make it sound like I'm involved in some shady business. It ain't like that. I can't wait for 20 minutes to pass and Ario finally understands that burn. Hey, wait a minute! Hey, wait a minute! You both seem rather jovial, despite being detectives. How rare. All the police officers I've met have always been so... dull. Well, you won't find any dull cops here. We'll round up all your criminals with a smile. That's our motto. How lovely. Keep it up. Just hold on one second. This is the first time hearing of that. <laughs> well, you're right about them not being your typical detectives. <laughs> they might actually be idiots. Okay, I gotta exhaust everybody's dialogue. Oh. Everybody's dialogue. Oh, Everybody be talking you. today. Start with you, Ariel. You're the one who's the most talkative. You're what the front bring, line. What brings you here, Richter? You on a case? Yeah, that's right. I'm picking up the police's slack. Hey, that's a burn. I trust you remember the kidnapping and murder case from last year. Good! <laughs> oh, I remember now. You're that Haruo Shigima from the kidnapping case. Huh? Did I miss something? Don't be an idiot! It's the case where Munizara Shigima's grandson was kidnapped! Which must have been your son, ma'am. Indeed! The story was suppressed by the news. In the end, it was considered a huge failure on the police department's part. Most of the investigation was conducted in secret. And unfortunately, the department is unwilling to reopen the case. Any investigation carried out afterwards turned up nothing at all, which is why I'm now on the job. So they never caught the culprit, huh? That's rough. So your findings have brought you to this place then? That's right. An individual connected to the case used to live around here. You so? That's right. As of last week, they're deceased. We hope to talk to the family. No one was Ooh. home when I checked last time, <laughs> so we figured we'd try again. Interesting. It sure doesn't look good on the police to be mishandling cases like these. If there really was a culprit, it should be our responsibility to bring them to justice. Well, I do consider the police my people. As in, they're in my pocket. So you consider the blame to be shared. You've got a stern side as well, I see. It sure doesn't look- It sure doesn't look good to be- Shut up. Alright. <laughs> By the way, ma'am, this might be sudden, but there's something I'd like to confirm with you. And that is? Do you happen to know anything about the Seven Mysteries of Honjo? Never heard of it. You're lucky it's day, or I'd know! Sorry, Chief, but that's hardly- With all due respect, Investigator, I think my question was addressed to the lady. Hmm, if you insist. What do you say, ma'am? Can you tell us anything? 
Slow zoom in, perfect. I don't know much. No. <laughs> I would love if after that long, um, just stay silent. I've heard of the seven mysteries, but this talk of curses eludes me. Uh huh. Is that so? Well, I'm sorry for the intrusion. If she didn't know, why would she know it was curses? Come to think of it, I heard something about this area last night. Something about a strange yet conspicuous man dressed in white loitering around. Uh oh. Wait a second. I'm wearing I'm wearing white. Huh? I assume they were talking about you, investigator. Well, I won't argue that I'm strange and conspicuously dressed in white. <laughs> And it, as it turns out, I was here last night to conduct my investigation. Oh? Did you run into anything strange or out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. I guess I did observe a few suspicious characters. You were asking about curses just now. Why would a public servant be interested in the occult? Poke and prod. Boss, Richter's a smart man. He can help us if we tell him what we know. One of those things is true. I can't promise I'll be of any help to you, but I'm interested in hearing what you got what you got to say. Something is happening in Hanjo, isn't there? It must be something big if they got you head office guys on it. Well, I guess it's all right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Information is king. Thank you, boss. Listen closely to what we're about to say, Richter. You have mustard on your shirt. And then we told him everything. Huh, so by using curses to commit murders, these people collect soul drinks to perform the rite of resurrection. And these curse stones are somehow connected to the seven mysteries of Hanjo? It's a tough story to swallow, but I don't see a reason to doubt you either. We figured that twice your curses happening around here, we are connected to your curses. To get this situation under control, we've been searching for the curse bearers to confiscate their curse stones. Do you have any information that might help us? Oh, no. this should be good. No. That's tough, and you were expecting <laughs> curses and other mumbo jumbo to play into this all. <laughs> but if we're talking shady characters, there was this middle aged fellow I saw on South Wadigasui Street. He had an average build. He was anxious, like he was searching for prey. Boys, what did you do? Well, considering the location, it could have been Hideki Araishi. We already got his curse stone. Impressive! You two are working quick. Did you see anything else? Not that I can remember. That's a shame. Hmm. If you see any characters who look like they might be carrying a curse stone, it'd be a huge help if you let us know. Absolutely, I'll let you know if I find anything. Richter, perhaps you could lend a hand on our case too. Yay! Not that kind of a hand! There's a number of people we can't track, and finding missing persons happens to be your specialty, no? No. I, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm busy enough with this case. The faith of my clients is what keeps me afloat. I have to prioritize requests by the order in which they come. I see. Well, can't say that's not fair. What do you need a private investigator for anyway? The cops should have plenty of bright folks to throw at the job. True, but this isn't an ordinary case we're dealing with here. And so we talk to everyone, oh yeah. So we can talk to Eric again. Let's talk to Richter, see what he's got to say. I guess knowing how to deal with cops is also part of an investigator's job. Not quite. The two of us used to be comrades, is all. Comrades? That's right! Richter used to be part of the police force himself. He quit a few years ago to go solo. Is that so? I think I love her, is that so? Like, she's, like, not really all that interested, but just, like, you know, being polite. It's like, oh, really? Is I also, that so? I also mm -hmm. think she has, a, like, a god-tier poker face and, like, poker voice, where she finds that extremely interesting. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't care. Oh, my. Oh, my. How interesting. You should give it a try, Ario. There's more freedom in working as a private investigator. I can't say much for the quality of life, though. <laughs> I'm very hungry. <laughs> it's been two years, right? I hadn't heard of you since you quit. I didn't think your budget would last. Boy, who you are! You sure you don't want to return to the force? We take you back with open arms. We're desperate. 
what? Oh, what? Sit on my ass and watch the birds fly? I'll take a pass. I don't belong in that world. No way, man. I'm not chained down to your rules and your system and your establishment, man. The police force is a corporation. I'm not a part of it. What that, from, that's from, right, Richter. You don't belong in this world. What we, from, what we, from hippie to Jack Nicholson pretty quickly. It's just... You know, you run the gambit. Yeah, well. Come on, Rector. We need to tell her. The public needs you. Nah, you don't. This is my calling. The police will manage just fine without me. I'll keep on tying up all your loose ends. Say the little birdies you abandon. Ooh. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, 30 minutes later, after you guys depart, Area goes, Oh, shoot, he got us. Huh? Right away. That reminds me. Wecto! <laughs> yes? You said the person who used to live here died last week. You wouldn't be referring to Michio Shiraishi by chance. That's a cord- No! Uh, you knew? You knew? I thought so. Wow. Seems like we're here for the same reason, then. I didn't know cops could actually be onto something, huh? <laughs> that's, that's, that's rare in my line of work. You guys are really good. Seriously? Michio was involved with curses and magic? Strictly speaking, the curse part isn't our concern. We're looking into Yoshimi's case. Yoshimi? Oh, why? Hajime Yoshimi! That's right, he died on the job. I'm sure you've heard of it. I heard. It was a most unfortunate loss. So there's a connection between Hajime Yoshimi of the juvenile Dis of, the, of the juvenile division, whoa, and Michio. Well, hold on. Let's focus on Michio for a second. You think she had something to do with the kidnapping? Huh. Talk about unforeseen developments. Exchanging information should prove mutually beneficial. I'll tell you what I know, but in turn, I want the full scoop on your findings concerning Michio. Sure. To tell you the truth. Here's all the information you need. <laughs> what? Do you believe Michio's ghost is the one who killed Mr. Jonochi? Hmm. So he wasn't just mumbling nonsense? <laughs> I mean, we haven't fully confirmed anything yet. But it hurt the warriors with heart of the others with full voice to the director. Testimony. Do you mean from those, uh, psychic high schoolers? Super psychic high, high schoolers. schoolers. Didn't they say that there was a chance Michio hadn't killed herself? Wait! If that's all true, then... Uh, did you figure something out? Ah, Kankichiro Iwai! <laughs> <laughs> Look at Haruhi's face! Huh. What the hell? What the hell? Huh? Kankichiro Iwai! He'll be the next victim! We have to open the door to the Shiraishi's house! We need to look inside! Hey, what's gotten into you? Boss? I'm, I'm sure the landlord would give us the key if we asked. Screw that! You know how long that could take? We could ask for permission later! <laughs> Richter? Hey, Richter! Calm down! We can't just... <laughs> and... Hmm. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Richter, get a hold of yourself! I see you're still the same as always. Everyone, come quick! Look at this! And yeah! Oh uh, no! That is very dead and mangled. Whoa! What's up with this room? Boss, there's a dead body in here! Uh, oh! 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. Could that be Michio's dad? Nah, he's your stepdad at best of that. It's gotta be the body of Kankichiro Iwai. There's no doubt about it, this man's a goner. He's gotten real messed up. Looks like he's been like this for a while. I'd say it happened last night. There we go. Did you find Jonochi's body in the same state? Now that you mention it... It looks as though Kohei Jonochi had died from a number of heavy blows. <laughs> ow! 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 Uh, uh, uh. What are you suggesting, investigator? It was Michio Shiraishi. She's alive! And She used the power yeah. of the curses to get back at the men who ruined her life! That's ridiculous. You're suggesting she actually revived? It's, it's got to be that. 
And if she's alive, then... Oh, hold on, intermission. Uh, my apologies for interrupting. I know we just arrived at an interesting plot point. But do you really think a dead girl is going around taking revenge from beyond the grave? Consider this, what if Michio Shiraishi never died? But seeing as you've come this far, I'm sure you already know the truth, don't you? Oh. And so, I, I would have you answer me a question. Where in Honjo is Michio Shiraishi at the hour of 8 o'clock this morning? Hmm. Okay. 8 o'clock this morning. 8 o'clock this morning. Basically, where was Michio Shiraishi in the last episode? At 8 o'clock this morning, she was at the cafe. Yeah, at the cafe? Yep. You're talking about candy shop Senoya is what you're talking about, right? I believe that's the place. It's where that's we talk the, to the scholar. That's the place. <laughs> I see. Very well. Congratulations, you are correct! As expected, you got it in one go. Ooh, I wonder if there's alternate dialogue for that. Oh, there, of course there is. Well, the cause of death is such, was it not? You must have noticed some time ago. Let's get back to the story then, shall we? I've taken up enough of your time. What was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> Audience, did you see that? Wow, buzzing! So you really think Michio Shiraishi is alive? Just think it through and it all becomes obvious. It tracks, but... Do you really think that girl could have managed all of this? First of all, Ario, get, go report this to HQ. Understood. I'll get on it right away. Briskly, just kind of gently steps out. Let's start investigating this place. Sure isn't lacking in stuff that needs a looking at. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of photos of the same person pasted on the wall over there. Yeah, I noticed that too. Huh? Whoa, now. Hold on, these photos. <gasps> They're all of Fumichika and Nejima. Gross. Oh. Really? Come to think of it, he was in the papers a lot back in the day. Oh, there's even more pasted up over here. These are all cutouts from newspapers and magazines about the Nejima murders. I don't get it. Why the weirdo shrine? Let's keep looking around. Mm. Alright, gotta go look at everything in this room. Can't really pan around, so everything's all here. We'll start with the sliding door! This sliding door leads to the kitchen. It barely fits the frame. I know, it's 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 like, it can't even fit in. It's, it's just bursting out of the frame. I just need to point out that that guy got fucked the fuck up. Yeah, he got fucked the fuck up. That fucker fucking fucked the fuck up. Jesus. Newspaper cutouts. Alright, let's see. Look at these. Pictures of Fumichika Nejima cut out from newspapers and magazines. Whoever put these up was obsessed. I wonder what their intent was. Hmm. You think the Shiraishis are somehow connected to the Nejima's case? Perhaps they did this as not to forget a grudge or something. It's crazy to think Nejima might be involved in all this too. Huh? Do you think he might have anything to do with the body here? Maybe. The man's already on parole. He's a curse bearer with a curse stone now. He announced that from sundown today he'll be going on a killing spree. Oh dear. There's an emergency search underway as we speak, but no one's yet managed to get a hold of the bastard. So he hasn't changed his ways. That doesn't bode well. To tell you the truth, the lady here isn't completely unconnected from the Nejima murders either. You don't say. That's right. We talked about it last night. Twenty years ago, I found the hand in Sumida River that brought the incident to light. You don't say! You were the kid from back then? Surprise. You were really brave. You did a great deed. Were you the detective I spoke with? I had no idea. So, you two have met before. Fancy that. It's all connected. I've been worried that Fumichika Nejima might bear resentment towards you, ma'am. Hmm. You might be right. <laughs> Unfortunately, that asshole is quite the resentful type. Oh, that voice again. Oh, dear. That asshole. I wonder who put the idea into his head. And now he's got the one-sided reed, too. He's threatening to massacre the people of Hanjo at sundown. 
Seriously? On top of that, he's been itching to get revenge on me as well. Of all things, the man's gone and threatened to kill my daughter. Damn, that's quite the threat. Certainly, you can't afford to stay put here. The fucker wants to get us all antsy. When I finally get to arresting him, it'll be with a cool head. Not gonna give him the pleasure, huh? Uh, well, if EYE and Fumichika Nejima have anything to do with each other, in this room I hold a clue to Nejima's location. Let's hope so. Yeah, give me the location. Give me the goods. Person who put up all these photos must be must have been obsessed with Nejima. Do you think? Maybe they're going for a theming here. Relation to the victims, or maybe they just want a new wallpaper. Yeah, maybe, you know, yeah. yeah. What, just... if, what if it wasn't loathing but admiration? I mean, that, that's that's what I take it as. I've seen enough uh, CSI shows and forensic movies. But then, oh, somebody loves the serial killer. It's the same man in every picture. Is that Fumichika Nejima? Yes. Wow, this is quite the spectacle. I don't think I'll ever manage to erase this from my mind. Uh, don't worry, Richter. You're quite the spectacle yourself. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Hey! Do you, mean to, do you mean to compare me with the likes of a bizarre criminal? Yes. Get dunked on, nerd. These aren't just cut from publications. They even snapped a number of shots on their own. They must have admired him. Why else would they have collected so many pictures? There's so many folds in his chin. Whatever the case, it's certain, it's certain they were obsessed. He hides his murder weapons in his neck folds. Drawer. This drawer is really old. Chief Inspector, do you mind if I look inside? Huh? I mean, in normal cases, only the police would be allowed to touch things, right? <laughs> right. The area was in here, so let me take a look at it. <laughs> I love the idea that Susumi's just like, huh? Huh? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just clothes in here. Not much variety either. Can't say they were big spenders. Well, I was hoping to find a kind of talisman here, but I guess we're not so lucky. I see. Thank you anyway. Nothing there. Anything in the window? Hmm. The window and storm shutter closed. No light gets in here at all. It's all pitch black. The neighbors mentioned they started to keep the house shut like this not long ago. Oh, I'm just visualizing the smell you're probably getting from this scene oh, here. Well, l last night, so it's probably not that bad. Like, probably the, the stench of blood and yeah, fire, but, but rotting corpse, maybe... Probably not that bad. Maybe faintly, but not like, you know, not, not that bad yet. It's all put to look at, but I can't help but wonder what in the world this is. They're magic runes. They're used in Western black magic rituals. Most of the time, they're useless imitations, though. I wouldn't get too excited about it. Oh my. Who knew the Chief Inspector was such an expert on the occult? I just cha I just chanced upon that information. Uh, that girl with the spirit sense we mentioned. She's pretty informed yeah, 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 on, the yeah, yeah. on the subject. You know, yeah. Uh-huh. Someone was attempting to perform Western black magic in this place. Pretty, pretty absurd if you ask me. Well, it looks like it worked. Of course, the person in question was dead serious about it all. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Richter. All right, we've got a few more things. Got left some to old check books. Out. Got some decorations down got there on the wall. All right, so keep looking at the floor. It looks like the things spread around here have been like this for a while now. This ritual or whatever was something he attempted up to recently. Plenty of the neighbors mentioned having heard strange mantra-like noises coming from here during the night. You think Ey was the one chanting? Ooh, eh, hard to say. Could have been one of the Shiraishis as well. If we look through these books in the back, we might learn whatever it is they were trying to do. Okay. So, the books. Oh. Decorations. Decorations. There's candles and stones and inscriptions placed all over. Are these tools for some ritual? Hey, don't touch anything, you hear? Ah, that's right. Considering this is a murder scene, we ought to leave everything as it is. All this can be used as evidence. If anyone besides forensics toys with it, it'll cause trouble down the road. Alright, let's look into corpses. Poke it. There's nothing around to confirm his identity, but the looks of him I'd say he's Gonkichiro Iwai. You've seen him before? I heard he had a criminal record, so I assumed he wouldn't have had, uh, he wouldn't have held a respectable occupation. Is this what a curse does to people? Well, no. Yours burns him to death. <laughs> Ma'am, it'd be better not to look so closely. But I want to look. Don't look. I want to no, look. No, no. It's amazing. Ma'am, ma ma please st stand back. Ma'am, please, please, ma'am. <laughs> oh no! I just wanted to see what would happen. Cruel is what it is. Cool is what it is. Cruel is what it is. Cool is what it is. Cruel is what it is. Oh my... It's cruel. Oh my god, I want to use my curse right now. No! <laughs> Ma'am, please. <laughs> We're not 
supposed to use the curses! <laughs> what do you say, Chief? Would you let me look through it if I wore gloves? Oh, well, it's not like I'm, in, I'm any help with foreign languages. Go ahead. Thank you. Huh. This seems to be a book on Western black magic. Same runes are written here alongside detailed descriptions of the, produce, of the procedures. I suppose you'd call these grimoires. It's all a bunch of nonsense if you ask me, though. You think the Ziwaii guy was studying them? Perhaps to perform some kind of ritual? It's a bunch of handwritten notes besides the grimoires. Whoever it was, they were serious about this. Mm. Iwaii doesn't look the type to be into this stuff, but uh, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But why would he be studying black magic? According to the materials, this here rune is for the restoration of youth. Perhaps he was trying to become young again. This over here seems to be black magic related to resurrection. Each one of these spells requires a human sacrifice. Ugh, talk about dangerous. Whoa, resurrection? Like the right? I guess no matter what part of the world, people will turn to the occult for similar reasons. Hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. What is it? This looks like a journal. It's probably EY's. The journal? Mm-hmm. His writing is surprisingly thorough. It's almost as if he was writing a report from someone! Oh, wow. Now this is something. What is it? What did he write? Audience. <laughs> this is quite the find. Let me give you a summary. So, this Kankichiro Iwaii fellow, he'd been searching for a spell to restore youth for years. So, he was into black magic from the start. He believed if he could learn to successfully perform the spell, he could then use it to earn a fortune. To tell you the truth, it seemed he was already getting funded after he acquired this grimoire. You don't say. This is starting to sound kind of familiar. But first, let's find out how he got his hands on this grimoire. It seems that Nejima told him where he could obtain the book when they were both in prison. Ooh. What? That's nearly, that's nearly too much of a coincidence. Likely not coincidence, it seems like Iwaii took an interest in the Nejima murders after it made the news. He admired him rather passionately. D uh, admired him. him. Look, look at the... Uh, you can tell. Hey, take a screen cap of that. I want to see how much he admired him. Admire! Thank you. You, you, could even, you might even say he worshipped the man. I spell worship with two Ps. He looks wrong otherwise. Mm. Worshipped. Worship? Nejima of all people? This is a time when students were itching to rebel. Anyone who did something to shake the world was bound to gather admirers. That's so fucked. EY had been collecting these photos ever since that time. And since he just so happened to land in prison at the same time as Nejima, he made sure to get in contact. This is a lot. I mean, even having it all laid out like this. The thought of Nejima being involved with these grimoires is staggering. I don't think we've ever had anything pointing to that. What's the connection? To be honest, it's a shock to me, too. For years, we've been scratching our heads over the motives behind the Nejima murders. Yep. It's been a mystery to us all from the very start. <laughs> Whoa, now, wait one minute, wait just one minute. Do you think? No way. Are you saying? Revelation. That's right. The murders might have been for a ritual. He was attempting to perform black magic. The instructions written down for the sacrificial offering match up exactly with the acts carried out oh, by Nejima. Oh, good lord. You gotta be kidding me. So that's the so that sadistic crap he was doing was all for black magic? That's what the evidence suggests. However, Nejima tried to do some type of resurrection ritual, but Iwaii had different motives. Chief Inspector, you might think this is all the stuff of fantasy, but... That doesn't refute that Nejima and Iwaii were both acting in earnest. This is batshit insane! You're telling me that Nutjob did all this for some hokey pokey resurrection? Shit. Resurrection. Mm-hmm. That means there must have been someone Nejima wanted to bring back to life. Ugh. Damn, that's it! Oh, that has to be it! Oh, fucking hell, it all makes sense now! Oh, what? Oh, what is it? Oh, <laughs> when, a, when a migraine hits <laughs> spontaneously. So about the Nejima murders. There's some information that's been kept from the public. New info. Go on. New info. When we broke into his house and arrested him, uh, we also found a baby. Oh... A baby? It was a girl. Looked to be about six months old, but she was covered in filth. She looked so weak and sickly. 
We called the medics right away. If we were a second later, I'm sure the girl would have died. So is Nejima the father? He told us he'd found her under a bridge. He found her? She was abandoned? I've heard of parents threatening to leave their child under a bridge as a threat, but to think it really happens. Ah, I suppose there are those cases with the dead newborns found stuffed in coin lockers, so... D it's not without precedent. What?! Oh yeah. That was actually a plot point in Yakuza 7. Aw, oh, that's so messed up! Yeah, well, you know. Uh... Whatever the case, we never found out the truth. There's one rumor from back then that I could never get out of my mind. And it's starting to sound more likely now. Well, I'm sure this isn't the first time you've heard of it. Many believe Nejima's guilty of more crimes than what got him convicted. Back then, a lot of girls went missing. Yeah, I remember all of that. Among the high school girls that might have been murdered, or maybe I should say sacrificed, was a girl who was pregnant. Goodness. That's horrific. He killed her. And dismembered her body. And we thought, maybe the baby we found is what he pulled out from inside of her. Don't misunderstand me, this is all speculation on top of more speculation here. But I for one never believed that man would just take in a baby he found under a bridge. Oh my, yeah, I'm feeling sick too. Stay strong, ma'am. I know this is hard to hear. Like I said, don't take that to be the full truth. We were running on speculation back then. Now that this whole resurrection magic has come into play, we should consider the possibility it was his child, and that maybe he was trying to revive whoever the mother might have been. It's just a theory, but my life would have been a tad easier if it were true. That's an interesting thought. If there's anyone Nejima will want to resurrect, a deceased wife is as good a guess as any. The fact that he obtained a curse stone suggests that he has an interest in the rite of resurrection. Damn, you're right. And here I was thinking that he was only after the curse's power to massacre. <laughs> um, Chief Inspector? Yeah? What happened to the child? Without a birth registration on file, the best we could do is find the girl some suitable foster parents. It was decided to keep the circumstances secret for the sake of the child's future. Well, I'm glad she was taken care of. Hmm. Let's read more! I don't mean to derail the conversation, but there's still more written in EY's journal. We know EY had managed to obtain the grimoire thanks to the advice he got from his idol, Nejima, while in prison. After conducting research and gathering more information, he determined he had a chance to get rich quick. Right, he thought he could make some more money if he could successfully use rejuvenation magic. Correct. Turns out someone hi someone him gave him the idea, him, him, him. Oh my. <laughs> someone gave him the idea. And get this. It was the one and only queen and chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps herself, Natsuya Yamamori. Ooh! Wait, the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps?! So that's where this leads. Here, let me read what he wrote. The Queen of Hihaku has a strange fear of growing old. Her fear of death is even worse. If she does die, she wishes to be revived, and she will spend whatever it takes to preserve her beauty. Magic, rituals, and rites, she'll use whatever means necessary. Her tenacity is unbelievable! Hmm. She was apparently investing money into any research on resurrection, the restoration of youth, and the like. Hmm, so she would even throw her money at the occult. The place's greed will take you. Well then, that brings us to Hideki Hiraishi. She presumably funded his research into the Rite of Resurrection as well. That's what it all points towards. I wouldn't be surprised if the Witch of Hihaku pounced at the rumors of the Rite of Resurrection. It's starting to sound likely. Might also be why she's spreading the rumor about having godly powers. It's a convenient cover if she becomes young again. Godly powers? What's this all about? Watch this malarkey. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't. You can ignore that. Either way, I I think he why he took the payments he was getting for his research to, to seduce a family into taking him to, into keeping a low profile. The Shiraishi family, Michio and her mother, Toshiko, were just his unlucky marks. And this is where you get involved. Are you feeling steady, ma'am? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, all right. Huh? Is this something to do with me? 
those are kind of the same question? Are you saying that? No. You can't mean. You've realized then. Perhaps. Uh, Kankichira Iwai's uh, living sacrifice was a child. <laughs> That's exactly it. Iwai moved in with the Shiraishis to practice his magic. He needed a sacrifice to perform his youth restoration spell, but... That meant extracting the life force from someone young. Oh no. Of course. That... That awful man. So, it was Iwai... This man. Iwai worshipped Nejima, so he must have also despised Nejima's detractors. Not to mention he was captured and sent to jail once before. Surely he had a bone to pick with the police. So when he realized he had the chance to both avenge Nejima, embarrass the police, and acquire a living sacrifice at the same time? Fuck! <laughs> you got it! Iwai kidnapped Harai Shigima's son and managed to score three birds with one stone! God... You're telling me that that, that horrid man... He never had the intention of returning my child! It's the vein. The, 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 the creases in her face. Also, it looks like she lost the light in her eyes. I know it's behind her hair, but it looks like the, the light's gone. Yeah, this is a very expressive art style. I am in love with it. I thought there might have been a reason why the kidnappers seemed to be mocking the police. He never wanted money. His aim was to humiliate the force. It all makes sense. You must abuse Michio to lower your boy's defenses, and then kidnapped him on his way back home. That man... He... He took Shuichi! <laughs> Ma'am, please calm down. I understand, but you must remember to breathe! You don't understand. You have absolutely no idea what I'm going through. This isn't a joke! I wouldn't expect the police to understand. You'll never understand! The big sacrifices? What a stupid... Stupid idea from a stupid little man! Your stupid humans and your stupid brains! Stupid, stupid, stupid! This isn't a joke! No, oh, okay, ma'am. Let's just take a moment to breathe. Why don't we go get some fresh air, huh? I can't believe this. This is... This is... Ugh. Uh, Chief, I think it's best we take our leave. Before we go, there's one more important piece of information noted in his journal. Oh? Iwai got in contact with Nejima last year, after Nejima was released on parole. He provided him with accommodation and financial support. Is that so? Ooh. He managed to find a hideout for Nejima to stay in. Oh, shit. Damn it. If anything, rather than use his money to support the Shiraishis, it seemed most went to Nejima instead. Oh, what the hell? Nejima's lurking around anywhere at the moment, it's probably in that hideout. Did you write where it is? <sighs> Unfortunately, <sighs> no. Not that I can tell. Damn it. It seems Michio knew where it was. She never met with Nejima in person, but she was made to go in and clean up among other things. How good is that information? That girl's already dead! Wait, no! She's alive! <clears throat> That's right! Michio Shiraishi is alive! If you can find her and get her to talk, you can get her to spill the beans on his hideout, too. Investigator, I'm asking you. I should be going. The lady's not well. The way the dialogue is written is so well done. I know, I just, know. Just a couple of smart dudes piecing it all together and unfortunately wait, piecing wait, it all together. Wait, you can't mean no, that that no, means, no. Oh fuck! Oh no! When that realization kicks in, it's just like, oh no! Oh, that's bad. Are you feeling any better now that we've gotten some fresh air, ma'am? <sighs> Fine. Suddenly finding out who the kidnapper was really made me lose my wits. We managed to solve the kidnapping case by pure luck here. You're right. But, Richter, I... I feel grateful towards Michio. Because she killed the kidnapper? And I didn't have to. There's that too. But it's for something else. If Michio is the one killing all these people... 
<laughs> she must have acquired quite a sizable amount by now. She's driven insane by grief. Soul dregs. She, she's mean. gone off the deep end, I swear. Yep. Ugh. Hey, Richter. Whether the kidnapper's dead or alive, <laughs> it doesn't mean a thing. Revenge won't bring my boy back. And if Najima is planning to cause a massacre to collect soul dregs, then... All the better. I won't give up on resurrection. Off the deep end. So, I'm counting on you. Hadare Shigema is a great character for a visual novel. She, da, da, I love, I love her unceasing grief and torment. A lovely broken character there. Well. Last one we're gonna do today is too much to handle. Uh, you you had a day, ma'am. You should go home and get like all the sleep, all all the rest. Just just relax, okay? Too much to handle. All right, and you go. All right, Richter, break into the Shiraishi residence with the detectives. They find a journalist behind the deceased EYE, finally revealing the mystery behind the kidnapping. However, Hadaway remains unsatisfied. I mean, well, I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the killer may be dead. She's but, uh, she's she's done the terrifying thing of what? How dare you? I'll kill you! How dare you do this stuff? <sighs> no, it's fine, fine. In further fine. news, fine. Today, the body of an adult male was discovered in the residence of one of Toshiko Shiraishi around noon. The man, identified as Kankichiro Iwai, is said to have been in a relationship with Toshiko. He was unemployed at the time of his death. While further investigations are still underway, it's suspected that his death is connected to the recent serial killings in Honjo. Evidence on the scene may also implicate Mr. Iwaii in the unsolved child abduction and murder case from last year. Trust me, you don't want to know. It's pretty fucked up, folks. You don't want to miss it. Turn that really damn thing off. Really don't want to hear that right now. Well, ma'am. It seems like we've managed to settle one part of the kidnapping case for now. Let's begin discussing our next steps. Right. So, about those soul drags I want. Judging by the official announcement, it seems what EY wrote is likely true. If both the kidnapper and his young accomplice oh. dead, the police should be able to handle the rest. Oh, man. Now that it's over. I can't help but think how pitiful it all is. We never would have known a thing had we not found his journal. Carelessness is what usually leads to crimes like these being exposed. It's pretty much the same with the Nejima murders. But stumbling across the answer by pure chance really makes you think. It makes my skin crawl to think of how many cases like this are left undiscovered. Me too. It's certainly disturbing. Like your outfit. But that's beside the point. Well, with the kidnapping case all wrapped up, we can focus our efforts on obtaining the right of resurrection, yeah? Mmm, indeed. I'm counting on you. Steal it from the not-dead girl. Okay, let's reassess this curse situation. Right. I must admit, I never expected the police to be so on top of things. <laughs> this is why I left. The Chief Inspector Tetsuo Tsutsumi provided us a good wealth of information. I'm surprised he knew so much about the curse bearers. Do you think they noticed I'm one of them? I'm pretty sure Aerio didn't. Chief Inspector, on the other hand, we'll have to be careful around him. Yep. Intuition. But if he had suspected anything, I'm sure he would have detained us. We should stay vigilant moving forward. Agreed. I I do honestly think she did a slip of the tongue, accidentally. Maybe. When asked about the seven mysteries of Hanjo, he never mentioned curses. That's right. And the fact that she responded... Well, maybe, uh, well, maybe the curses are, in turn... Like, uh, maybe they're like intertwined, maybe? Yeah, it's like, oh, there's curses that have to do with those mysteries, you know? Ooh, okay, yeah. maybe. Would you be okay with hanging on to the stone from now on? Of course. I'll never let go of it. Just don't use it, though, okay? No promises. Ma'am? No promises. Ma'am? <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? <laughs> If what, we learned, if what we heard is true, there are just three curse bearers left to be discovered. 
okay. There's the Whispering Canal, the Beckoning Light, and the Taiko of Tsugaru left to investigate. It may benefit us to visit the places connected to these stories a few times. I see. I'm still highly suspicious of the people at Hihaku's soaps. They could be the ones pulling the strings. That Takumi Yumioka fella is probably aware of the curse bearers we're searching for. Tracking his movements may prove to be useful. You want to follow him? If we were to follow anyone, he'd be my first choice, but... Damn it, times like this really wit really have me wishing I had more personnel. I imagine it's tough working on your own. It's the plight of running a small business. I'm always on the hunt for a skilled assistant. Please be my assistant, ma'am. <clears throat> and then there's Nejima, who appears to be a curse bearer too. The one sided Reed, I think it was. If we want to look for someone that's likely to gather a whole lot of soul dregs, well, look no further. He did say he would unleash his curse on a large number of people at nightfall. If he gets the chance to. If the, if the chief inspector manages to track down Michio, then, well, there's a chance he'll manage to apprehend Nejima before he gets up to no good. But why did you tell the chief inspector about the safe house? If he hadn't had that lead? It was written in Iwai's mem memoirs. It was just a matter of time till he found out. His memoirs found by the Grimoire. Memoirs and Grimoire. Besides, we're talking about a massacre here. They can't just turn a blind eye. How different is it from any other curse bearer collecting soul drags? Ma'am, ma'am. Well, if we're taking, if we're talking Nejima, it could be a lot more dangerous. We'll just keep a close eye on the Nejima and the cops. Ah, <sighs> no promises. So about those curse bearers. What about that girl from before, Ayami Tono? Do you think she could be a curse bearer? Well, there's a chance she could have gone and stolen someone else's curse stone by now. That's possible too, but I just want an easy target. Hmm? We haven't been to uh, Midoricho Park yet, the place connected to the Taiko of Sugaru. Ah, right. That's close to where she lives. What if she was a curse bearer this entire time? She could have lied. It's possible. It would make her a brilliant actress to boot. The idea's got me itching to investigate her again. It's about those curse bearers! That place is rather suspicious. If only we could run into someone there. There we go. How about you? You weird goof? Richter. Yes? Um... Ah, that's right. Would you mind if we make a stop on our way? We can make it quick. I apologize for the diversion, but I'd like to visit a candy store, if possible. <laughs> what? You, you daft idiot, you. Why? Um, I suppose I don't mind. I want to get you a lollipop for making it through the investigation. Uh, Alright, time to move. Let's move! And shall we depart? From this point on, we'll be given the option to finish the investigation, which will allow us to immediately end this part. Oh. What? But we're gonna get everything here, of course. Okay. So, we're gonna look around and look for clues, basically. Okay. Some things unlock if we find everything, some things don't if we don't. So, the first place we're gonna go is to Midori Cho Park. We haven't been there yet, might as well go. As Harue. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, we've been here before. As a different character. Alright, All right. we're done. Let's see. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Think. Think. Oh, hi! Hey, that lady over there. That's Ayami Tono! Take her down. She used to be trying to hide. Alright, I'll be right back. Yeah, he's gone. I suppose he really wanted to talk with her. <laughs> oh, there he is! I appear! <laughs> Does he mean to jump out and surprise her from behind? Huh? Does he mean to intimidate her? Oh, she noticed. I guess his purpose was to talk with her after all. Aha. I wonder what they're talking about. She doesn't look like she's planning to run. Over here. Oh, they're coming here. Proceed to walk over. There she is! What do you think? Smooth work by the master, hmm? 
Yes, yeah, very smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, unamused, just, mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, thank you so much for yesterday. I know this is sudden, but I'm actually being pursued right now. Pursued? By who? This weird guy in white. I think it's the police. <laughs> Would you be willing to provide me shelter? <laughs> Oh hey, god, there he is! Hey, Mr. Richter, have you seen some guy in white? From the police. I figured we could hear her out and see what kind of mess she's got herself into. Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of criminal, please! Alright, why are you being chased? The police have my apartment staked out, so I haven't been able to return home. My heart does say something, but wanted to protect me, but I suddenly didn't feel right and I got scarred. That had to have been so difficult to do. Oh, well. <laughs> Two different accents at the same time. Do you have any idea why they're after you? Well, I have been searching for the car size, <laughs> so... <laughs> she said loud enough for the entire park to hear. <laughs> we shouldn't tr uh, trouble ourselves with hiding you if they're after you for a good reason. <gasps> huh? How cruel! But this handsome investigator wouldn't turn me in so easily, would ya? And then immediate handcuffs. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but we've got reason not to get involved with the police ourselves. <laughs> what shady reasoning? That's a good face. <laughs> but if you got some murky secret to hide, we might as well cooperate with each other. No. Uh, We're being huh. chased then. But if you got some murky secret to hide, we might as well cooperate with each other. No. Okay, okay, no. Talk about the right. Then. Anyway, how are your plans to resurrect Hokusai going? Ah, fortunately, that's been going quite well. Oh... Does that mean you found someone to steal a curse stone from? Not exactly, but I found kind of like a, like a last resort. Oh... That's why I can't let the police get me. What's your Hail Mary? What do you mean by last resort? Yeah, what's your Hail Mary You're really asking me that? Come on... Does it concern you at all? What should I tell you? Um... Uh -huh. <laughs> What if we make a deal? In exchange for keeping you hidden from the police, you'll tell us about your last resort. Huh? Is that what you, what's got you interested? I've got it! You're meaning to steal it for yourself! N no, not at all. I'm just curious. How is he gonna turn this around? That excuse will not do. I don't need you to. I'll find a way to stay safe on my own. Cha, that's a close one. I should've, I should've known the only one you could turn off, you could come as well as yourself. Dang God. No, don't go away. <laughs> don't go away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can't let her get away. Let's go after her. Hi, don't go away. Stop it! Don't get it! Don't get any closer. I'll scream! I'll scream! They're all loud. Please wait. We'll help you out. No conditions. Don't well, you change your mind, quack. <laughs> that just makes you all more suspicious. <laughs> and then Richter comes up with like the Richter. Don't do those fingers. Don't do the fingers. I tried my best, but I couldn't convince her to stay. Could it be uh, you don't know how to handle a girl like that? Uh, a guy like this? Ah, come on. <laughs> ah, come on. Unbuttons another button. Since she's looking for a safe haven, would you mind sharing your address with her, just in case? Well, it doesn't really bother me, but you do recognize there are police officers in my close family. Yeah, at least it'll allow us a way to keep in contact, no matter how small. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. That's brilliant, actually. Alright, okay. Is there anything in the trash? Nah, I think we're about done here. Everyone's relaxing so peacefully in the park. It's hard to imagine it was the site of some horrid curse. So there's a few curses we actually haven't seen the effects of, and that's their identifier, basically, is how they kill people. If we're lucky, we don't need to, then. Well, I, I want to know so I can solve the damn mystery. Alright, Hollandji Bridge, next! Let's go find a baby. Let's go find a baby. Let's go find a baby under Hongji Bridge. Woo! Anyway, I was out here last night looking for the curse bear connected with the beckoning light too. Did you see anything? I'm afraid not. They got to be out here somewhere. Good talk. I was out here last night. Yeah. Great talk. Oh. So, there's so many old factories alongside this river. It must have been quite different in its quality. What days. is that? What? Do you see that? What? The tree? Is that a spirit? Huh? Is that a curse? What? Right there. Not uh, that? Yeah, that. Richter. What do you think that is? Oh? Um... 
I don't see anything. Oh boy, it's a curse. Really? You don't see that? That thing that looks like a phantom ball of flame floating in the air. The ball of flame? <laughs> must be the curse echo. Maybe the only curse bearers are capable of seeing it. But could such, could a such a thing happen in broad daylight? Yeah. Ah! No! The Will-O-Wisp! It's gone. Hmm. I wonder if that was the beckoning lights of Curse Echo. That phantom flame you saw might have been a manifestation of the lantern. In that case, does that mean a curse bearer is nearby? Ooh, can we look around? Mm -hmm. Is there anybody around here? Oh, wait, they might be in the factory. Maybe. Huh? Maybe that's the safe haven or whatever. What you saw earlier might have been the beckoning light. Something might have changed after what just happened. Cool, let's go to a different place. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well. Yup, yup. And now we're going to Kinshibori. Walk, walk, walk. Kinshibori Park. Hey, are there any dead people around here? Hey, kid, you know any dead bodies around here? The area was closed off to the public this morning after his body was found, but the police quickly managed to complete their investigation and reopen the park as if nothing ever happened. Hmm. People in this area are shockingly calm considering what happened here. Yeah, it's curses, whatever! You'd think they'd be put off knowing there was a dead body here just this morning. There is a dead body here this morning! Ah! Mass Panic. hysteria. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oops. From what I heard, it happened right about where you're standing now. <laughs> Good jokes. Uh, is there any... Nothing in the phone booth. I don't see any beckoning. Uh, God! Oh. This place is associated with the Whispering Canal. Canal must be connected to the man we found down in the park! Agreed. Wasn't the victim a Hahaku soap Soaps employee? Blah, blah. That's right. His name was Shogo Okie. Considering his occupation, he probably came here in search of a curse stone. People in the company knew about the right. It only makes sense that they'd be looking for curse stones. You think the chairwoman and Takumi would send their regular employees out to hunt for the stones? If that's the case, perhaps that Shogo died trying to take a stone from someone else. Either that or... He was killed precisely because he was a curse bearer with a curse stone. I suppose so, but... Considering the location, wouldn't that mean the curse was uh, used was the Whispering Canal? Good point. That would mean Shogo Okie wasn't the wielder of the Whispering Canal curse himself. Could he have had the Beckoning Light or even the Taiko of Sugaru? I was here last night, and there weren't any dead bodies then. It's highly possible he was brought here from somewhere else. What? If that's the case, the wielder of the Whispering Canal has already collected his stone. Uh, ma'am, excuse me, but there's one more thing I'd like to try. Oh, be my guest. Uh, like what? Shogo Oki is the name of the person who died here. It's hard to believe he was here by chance, only to end up murdered with a curse. Given his ties to Hihaku, we can assume he was aware of the situation somehow involved with these curses. So I gotta ask you, is that opening, that prologue that we did, is that canon? Or is that just a, like a separate universe kind of thing? No, it happened. It happened. It happened. So the girl who tried to curse us died. Yeah. Oh, wait, that, no, that was technically a bad ending, I guess. But then we died, so... And that was the true end to that character story. But is she also dead, too? No, because that was an alternate take. Alternate reality. Hmm. Who <laughs> wants to play? <laughs> Please, I want to go swing on the swing. Go ahead, fine. We. <laughs> so I didn't see anything else around here. I don't see the beckoning light or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I think we're about done here. Okay. Off to uh, candy store. Or what changed? I what guess is what change? I should be asking. What did change? I didn't notice anything. Maybe we, uh, yeah, I'll even come back. Cut to a murder scene. I think I went a little bit out of order here. That's okay. All right, here we go. He's gonna check the surroundings of, the, of where the curse bearer was. Ah. Uh, and so he checked. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, nothing. I didn't find anyone who looked the part. I see. 
I don't, I don't doubt something happened around here, but something might have changed in the area. Keep your eyes peeled. And is that where we were supposed to look for the beckoning light or Change. something like that? Maybe look over here. It didn't seem like, doesn't seem like anything. Some time. Uh, no, tight regulations. regulations. Any? I don't see anything up there. I don't see anything on the tree. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Uh, there's nothing like to the right or anything. Can you move the camera over there? Nothing. Not really. Uh, well, it keeps wanting us to look at the. Oh wait, surroundings. Oh wait, where is that? Uh, fact factory again, I guess. No, still nothing. I think we're about done then. We can, okay. always, we can always come back though. Hmm. But we didn't go to the candy store. It's fine. Okay. Whoa, that's a huge gap. Who's that? Oh, what? The... Who's Dark that? Darkness. And uh, who's? Uh... Huh? Huh? Ooh. Yay! Yay! A fifth main character has entered the fray. Who could this be? At the same time, too. Yeah. Well, we won't find out right away. So we gotta go back with uh, Tsutsumi. We're standing by next time on Paranormal Sight.